Hi, this is Vicki, also known as Dragonfly7673. Today is Tuesday, April 21st. It is not quite 6 o'clock yet. This is obviously not my usual spot. Um, <laughs> something that happened is we decided to use my vacation days for moving days. Um, I told you I was not going on the knitting retreat because I didn't want to be that far away from my son, especially where I couldn't be reached. Um, he actually told me yesterday, he said that he was glad that he didn't need to call me, but that he was glad that he could have called me and told me thank you, which was saying a lot for a 18 year old boy. Um, but since I didn't go to the knitting retreat, we decided to move and essentially almost all of my stuff is now at Best Friend's house. Um, we actually ended up getting a U-Haul on Saturday and using that a couple times. I also took, because I had Thursday, Friday, and Monday off, he did not. Um, I spent some of that time just trucking stuff, you know, sorting, packing, and when I had a car load, bringing it up and then going back. Um, all that's left now is part of the kitchen, so the pots, pans, the food in the refrigerator, freezer, and I don't have a large freezer, I only have a, the freezer that's on top of the fridge. Um, that's left, cat food, the spice cabinet, and... Um, my pantry, which is actually not really used for a pantry, it's mostly used for um, coffee makers, shipping supplies, stuff like that. So, but a lot of the stuff is done. Um, I called 1-800-GOT-JUNK and made an appointment, so they're coming on Saturday. Um, if you don't know, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, you pay them to take your stuff, and then they divvy it up for trash, recycle, donate. They take care of all of that. Um, I did that when I moved from my apartment to my condo. And I want to say it was about 200 bucks. Totally worth it. Especially when you have things like in that move, I had an old decrepit couch. I had no way of moving it. I didn't know anybody with a truck. Even if I did know, I didn't know where to take an old decrepit couch. So, um... And I didn't have time for to wait for Purple Heart, and it wasn't in any condition for them to want it. So, um, needless to say, it was well worth the money that time, and I'm assuming it will be well worth the money this time because I have things like a small media cabinet and a queen size mattress and box spring and just a bunch of stuff. So anyway, I'm sitting at the dining room table. This is not going to be the permanent spot, but it was the best spot I had right now that didn't have a ton of boxes. Um, one thing I discovered in this move is I have a lot more yarn and fiber than I realized. I knew what was in the cabinets, and I knew there was other stuff scattered around. I knew there was some in my bedroom closet. I knew there was stuff by where I podcast because it hadn't gotten sorted. I knew there was bags from retreats. I knew there was some by the front door. Yeah, all that added up to a lot. So I will not be buying yarn for much of anything for the near future. Um, because of the move, I don't have a lot done. Now, I have not blocked the secret swap present. I'm hoping to do that this weekend. Um, we also need to move the cats still. They will be coming either Thursday or Friday. They have to come before the Got Junk people come because I don't have any place for them to go and not be running away, hiding, possibly running out. So they will be moving sometime in the next couple days. Um, right now they're okay because they're still in their house. And even though it's getting emptier, we keep coming to visit. And so they're happy to see us. And, um... Best friend was thinking, well, before we started piling stuff in, he was thinking, well, we'll, you know, kind of get you un unpacked, and then they can come here, and they'll have their stuff, which was a great idea. 
until he realized how much stuff I have, and then I went, yeah, they're not, there's no way we're going to get it unpacked before the cats come. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Um, meeting with the realtor on Monday. I need to find, I need to get estimates for carpet and paint. I think those are the only two things that need, if the painter that we get, one of the things we're going to be looking for is a painter that also does drywall repair, um, because that'll save us time. If we get the painter, the drywall, and carpet, we'll be in pretty good shape. Um, no matter what I do, I'm losing money on this place because property values have gone down. But at this point, we just want to move on over their lives. Well, waiting, basically we're just waiting, we've been waiting out for what I owe to start meeting market value. I actually got a really good deal on my place back when I bought it, but our neighborhood's value went down. And no, I can't rent. We have a um, HOA that prohibits it. So, it is what it is. <laughs> um, all right. Anyway, so I have not blocked the secret swap. Um, I was working on a small project that I was carrying back and forth with me between the houses and like using it for like five, 10 minute breaks in between stuff. Like I would load the car and decide I was gonna take a five, 10 minute break before I got in the car and drove the other way. I can't find it. I know at one point I put it in the top of a bin or a box so that I would be able to easily retrieve it. I also know that it is with my postage scale because I was trying to weigh out the yarn um, because I was getting near the end and I was trying to make see what I could do for the last uh, part of it. I can't find it. So, <laughs> I can't show you that. Um, that hook I was using for that small project was the same hook I was using for the border on the stripe blanket, so that hasn't progressed, but honestly, I wouldn't have had time to work on that anyway. Um, so, but I do have the mystery afghan done. So I did do something. <laughs> um, the mystery afghan is all done. The last bit of the border was adding these little color pops and then these pico edges. Um, I was originally gonna do, this is actually a single crochet and then an offset single crochet in the other color and then the extended pico. Um, the single crochet and the extended pico makes that look like one piece with a little pop of color. I was going to do it in different colors and decided I didn't like it. Um, I used the trick I told you about last time and went around the blanket and did all three rows at once. But first, when I was testing out colors, I was just doing like maybe six inches in a color combination and deciding if I liked it. And I did another one, decided if I liked it, which until this one I didn't like the ones I had done. So, um, but this one I like. I like the way it came out. Um, I do have pictures I'll show you because I don't know what the lighting is like. Um, I had the overhead light on when I was taking pictures just to see if you could at least sort of see my face. And it the glare was horrible. It was too bright. So, it is what it is so I will show you pictures but anyway this is done I submitted it to the crochet crowd contest um, I don't have any high hopes of winning because there are three prizes and as of this morning I think there were 1200 entries which I think is funny there was so much griping and complaining periodically on Facebook about every little part of this blanket and then it's like to the point that Mikey of the crochet crowd was actually feeling kind of sad. I mean, he wrote some um, blog posts that you could tell he was upset. Obviously, somebody liked it because there are a lot of entries. Um, so anyway, that's that. Let me pause and put in pictures. All right, I was just, what seemed like milliseconds to you, <laughs> I was looking for a tape measure. Someone earlier today had asked me how in, how big 
it ended up being um, because I had doubled up the size and it is about three feet by five feet so um, it's a good size I had it on my lap while I was doing the uh, crochet border actually we were uh, watching something in the movie room and the movie room is in the basement and it has its own separate heating which is good because it means you're not paying for the heat all the time when we're not down there but it also takes a little while to warm up when you are ready to be down there and uh, I was thinking boy I was cold I really wish I had brought a blanket down and then it occurred to me that I was working on the border of a blanket and if I just opened it up I could put it over me and then it was it was nice and toasty it was good um, and it's got a lot of heft to it um, it's definitely a heavy blanket so um, so I did that I worked a little on my twitchy socks one day during a conference call not much though now I'm trying to get something out I dug out an old project. When I lost the one project, I couldn't just have nothing, especially for work. So I was supposed to have multiple conference calls today. Turned out most of them got canceled, but I dug out this old work in progress. It is the uh, Noro Bias Lace Scarf. So it is knit on the bias, so you're increasing on one end and decreasing on the other end. I'm pretty sure at some point I increased an extra stitch, but where this yarn is, that's about where I started today. So I just got two repeats done, but it gave me something to work on. There's plenty of yarn left, so. And then the only other thing I have to show you is, and I feel silly saying this because I really have been trying not to buy a whole lot just because I didn't need to. Um, but the other day I went on Etsy to buy, um, well, I was buying the gift card for Mountain Pearl um, for Etsy. I think it was when I did that. Anyway, uh, or maybe I was just looking, but usually I don't go on Etsy unless I'm looking for something specific. And in my it kind of shows you featured items for you based on other things you've done. And I saw this. This is a loop bat. Um, 5.1 ounces. Merino, Tussa Silk, and Bamboo. And it is rainbow. So it's rainbow with black stripes. So it's like, and there's no hot pink in the rainbow. But aside from that, there's like maroon and hot pink. And then... Uh, purple and a blue and a turquoise blue and the limey green and the yellow um, kind of a yellow orangey color and then the red so I bought it because it was really pretty um, I don't have a, my own picture of this but I do have the stock photo from Luke which I I will put in here um, I just thought it was really pretty so I do have my spinning wheels here. I already had one of my spinning wheels here, but now the other one, the traveling one, is here. I haven't quite figured out what we're going to do with them both. Um, one might go in the basement for when we're watching movies down there, and the other one stays up here. I don't know. We have not figured out exactly how we are merging everything yet. Because <laughs> even though he did a he did make room for me. He emptied out the office for my yarn room. Um, he got rid of a ton of clothes so that I could have closet space and dresser space. You just don't realize how much you have. So I was telling mom that a lot of stuff that went to storage was mostly my son's because he doesn't need it at her house and he doesn't need it here, but he will want it someday, like his bedroom set. Um... Otherwise, mostly what we've been doing is we've been trying to use this as a purge time. So, on both sides. So, it is what it is. I am actually going to mostly take the rest of the night off. I'm going to 
build the podcast real quick, just adding the photos and saving it so that I can upload it tomorrow. If there are no show notes, I apologize because right now I am I am truly exhausted. Um, I sort of had been thinking that I would start unpacking tonight. I don't want to. <laughs> I am burnt out. And best friend when he left was like telling me that, you know, there's shows on the DVR that are yours you might want to watch, which I think was his way of letting me know it was okay. So I have not worked on the Sophie's Universe at all, but that is what I'm going to work on tonight. So I think that's it. I will talk to you guys all next time. Um, like I said, I'm not sure where I'm permanently going to be recording, but I wanted to make sure I got one in, especially since I had skipped two weeks recently, so I didn't want to do that again. So I will talk to you guys all next time. Bye now.